hey, this week Lucy wants to know if I can do a tutorial. Now I don't know much about much, but I do know that Halloween is coming up and pumpkins are a plenty. So I'm going to teach you how to carve a pumpkin. I don't know how to carve a pumpkin, but let's learn together. And two for the price of one, I'll also talk about how to write a song and sing about said pumpkin. Let's go! Okay, so we've got our pumpkin, I've got a knife and a spoon, but you should only use a knife if you're with a responsible adult, like me. Okay, so let's get a carving. So if I was to write a song about a pumpkin, obviously if we use the word pumpkin, it's gonna sound very silly. So instead, let's think about things about a pumpkin and then make them human. So pumpkins, as I'm finding right now, are very tough. So let's work with that, let's, let's go with that. You're a tough pumpkin. <laughs> are we making a love song? I think that's another thing to think about. A motivational song? Let's go for a love song. Every loves a pumpkin. Maybe, but oh, this is quite hard to open up this pumpkin. So maybe it could be about a relationship where it's very hard to make the other person open up and that, because they're so tough and you just want to like see the real them inside, the real pumpkin inside them. Why are you so tough? Won't you show me what's inside? I don't care what you've got to hide because hide inside. Okay, we're almost done with the top bit. I notice there's quite a lot of liquids coming out of here, which makes me a bit worried. <laughs> But I have now completed the circle. I don't know what you do now. Why are you so tough when you've got nothing to hide? When all I want to know is the person that's inside. I often get asked, do some people write the melody and chords? Or do you go in like what I'm doing now and just sing? And I actually nowadays I find just singing... <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh man, it's quite like deep inside. Maybe that can be another lyric about how you're so deep inside. I'm also conscious that there's a bit of knife in there which I don't want to touch. Something magical is happening, you guys. Ah! <laughs> At least I can hopefully get my knife out now. <laughs> ah! Pumpkin top complete. Not much going on there. Let's just spoon this. I feel like this spoon might break if I do this as well. I'm, I'm just gonna like go with my hands because my hands won't break very easily. There we go. There we go. This is what it's all about, guys. So the next step in the pumpkin carving process is just rip out the seeds with your hands. Probably an easier way, but let's just do hands. So usually I write down some of the thoughts and feelings I'm having and I'll usually want to tell a message with my song. Then I start to try to form rhymes around certain sentences. Rhyme zone, a necessary songwriting tool to see which words rhyme with other words. But usually it just happens in the shower that I'll just get like an idea or I'm just walking around and I start humming a melody and I think, oh, this is a song I want to sing about. And then usually I go over to my piano and start singing and figuring out which chords I'm playing and what melody I'm playing. Okay, so we scooped out most of the pumpkin. So, nice and hollow. Next, we're going to carve a face into it and then put a candle inside because that's what you do. So I'm thinking some nice triangle eyes. We have to be very careful with the knife here because it's going to go right through the pumpkin. So that's what we've got so far. I'm scared of scary things, so I'm not going to make a very scary smile. Let's do a very happy smile. Happy pumpkin. Hey, guys. <laughs> Hello, I think you have a candle for me. Also, make sure you're a responsible adult if you're going to light matches as well. This is actually a very adult activity, carving a pumpkin. Let's put him in the pumpkin and put our two halves of the top on the pumpkin. And here's our pumpkin! So I think we're going to call this pumpkin Gary because he's such a happy looking pumpkin and Gary is such a happy name. I'm sorry if you're called Gary and you're offended by this. But you now have a pumpkin related to you. So pumpkin carving done. Let's move on to finishing off this little song we were putting together. We used to talk so much You rise avoid my gaze I miss your perfect touch The smile upon your face The seeds of our
What a beautiful song. It's always scary receiving comments. So for Halloween, the best way you can scare me is by leaving a comment or a question or topic you'd like me to talk about next week. So like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!